he almost feels like more of a dog than a cat. You really did rescue each other. But the animals, they tell me everything. So I am five minutes away from my call with Kate Communicates, psychic medium pet communicator. I'm so excited to see what she has to say about Oscar. I probably classify myself a skeptic when it comes to psychics and mediums, but I'm very open to people that say that they communicate with pets. I think it's very probable that there are other people that just work on a different wavelength and can communicate with animals in a different way than we can. I don't think all people can. So let's see if Kate can. I hope she can, because I really want to know what Oscar's little thoughts are. Hi, my name is Kate Kofelt, and I'm an evidential medium and psychic. I connect with both human and animals, both in the spirit world and in the physical world. And thank you so much for joining us. I know I suppose I should, you know, acknowledge that we're in a weird time right now. A lot of times clients or potential clients, they think they have to be in person to have a reading. And this is a good way to demonstrate that no, energy is energy. I'm just tapping into energy. It doesn't matter if we're, it's through Zoom or on the phone or in person. I am your first uh, pet parent. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> um, so I just sent you a picture of, okay. of Oscar. Is this, so this is kind of how it works. So yes, no, or I don't know. So uh -huh. I don't know is fair. Um, uh -huh. I can't do maybe or perhaps. Okay, so no is just as important because you have other pets in there. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I'm an empath and I also see here, feel, and know information. Okay, so I get my information in pieces. What I usually like to do with the pet readings in particular, a little different than the medium readings, is I like to connect with your pet first. And if you want to bring him by, if you want to just connect with him, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, go grab him real quick. Okay. And, and very, very asleep. Oh, look how pretty he is. Oh, I just love him. I do pick up a very sweet side to him, but I do pick up that he has a little bit of a stubborn streak too. I think if he wants his way, he's going to get his way and he's not going to budge. Am I correct about that? Oh, yes. Like he's got this regal personality too to him. I feel like he just stands really, I, does he stand on the top of your dresser? I see like a wood dresser like that's kind of a medium brown or something. And that could, brown color means something. And I forgot to tell you that color is symbolic for me. Actually, that's really funny. I just redid my um, side bedside table to like literally last week to a dark, dark brown. Oh. <laughs> and when he like needs me to, wants me to wake up, wants me to feed him, he'll sit on that side table and stare and like stare at me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Oscar is sitting on the dresser in the middle of the night. Well, it's like 5 a.m. This is what he does. Do you watch TV with him? He's showing me your TV. Yeah, he'll, he'll sometimes cuddle up in my lap, yeah. Okay, hold, hold on, because I'm wondering why he's showing this to me, because it's very interesting. I don't know, cats usually don't show me TV sets. We don't watch. Oh, I know why, I know why. You know what it is? I feel like he is, um, he, he almost feels like more of a dog than a cat. Do you understand? It's like, because you know how like dogs will follow you everywhere. Like you can't even, you can't even go to the bathroom. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay. You will follow me to the bathroom. Yeah. And do you sleep on the left side of the bed? Yes, that is the side. Thank I you. On. Thank you. So he's confirming this. If you feel like I've been connecting to him, what's your first question? Because I don't feel like he's going to share with me because I feel like he's just happy and that he loves you and that somehow you found each other and that there is such love. There's like a deep, I, I can't explain this. He shows me bending his head down like this. Does he connect with you with your face does he touch your face with his head because that's my symbol for that so he's showing that to me because he's like i really do love her <laughs> there's something purple in your room because i keep seeing something like purple now color means something to me it's usually symbolic for me um usually purple means to me that person or that soul is is intuitive themselves and they feel like you guys both have a way with people like you can read people i think i read people very very well I, I do think i'm a very good judge of character and can kind of tell how people are feeling so i guess yes yeah, i just don't want to like yes. pat myself on the back or something yeah. oh my god no no so he's telling me this about you because i feel like you need to own more of who you are because you put yourself aside you're really good at connecting with others and and, and connecting others together but i feel like 
when you're doing that, there's so many times you put yourself aside and he's there to absorb some of that for you. And I just think that's so sweet. He's like, he's taking care of you, honey. I think that's just adorable. But the animals, they tell me everything. <laughs> you have like a backyard because they keep seeing like a patio with like some cut grass, like manicured grass. I feel like there's some shading back there too. Yeah, I mean, it's a very open. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Thank you. This is a good place where I feel like I can find peace in, in some ways outside. And I'd listen to the birds and I could just lay out and it's like I can lay out in the sun, but it doesn't. The sun doesn't hit me. Does that make sense? It's warm, but the sun doesn't hit me. Yeah. And I feel it, like that's it, important it, with him. Like I feel like he walks the house. The perimeter of the house walks the house. And the reason why he does this is because he's making sure they know this is his house. It's his way of marking the territory. Do you understand this? Yes. He, yep. Mm -hmm. And keep reassuring him when he's on his good behavior. So we want to reinforce the good, positive behaviors. Give him a little treat. He shows me the little, um, they're kind of like a little triangle or but brown little, does he get those little treats, those it, shapes? That's the shape of their dry food that, that we'll use as treats. That's exactly the shape of their food. That's why. Thank you. Is this helpful? So helpful. Thank you so much. I just love confirming a bunch of things and there are a, a lot of things I was like, yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what, uh, <laughs> like how he lives and his space, which is so interesting. You guys are too connected at the hip and he really does love watching over you. That's why he showed me sitting on that wooden furniture, you know, cause mm -hmm. he watches over you. He literally does. He's just, there's so much love there, honey. Okay. I feel like he was rescued. Did you rescue him, honey? I did. Well, yes, he rescued me. You. Yeah, well, I, da, 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 Sorry. yes, no, or I yeah. don't know. I love you. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> With Frankie, there's a very sweet side to him. And I also feel like he wants to learn. Like, I feel like he wants to follow you and, and obey you. And I feel like he wants, like, he's so grateful. Um, I know that you just said that you felt like he rescued you, but you really did rescue each other, I feel. And I feel like he he's teaching you lessons too. A lot of times, um, the animals, most of the time, they teach us lessons. But I feel like when he sees you, I feel like when, if you've been apart for a few hours, there's such excitement in his eyes eyes just light up. I mean, they, they actually get brighter. He, like he's, he's really transformed. I feel like he could have used his past experience and been a different dog, but the love that you have given him, the attention that you've given him is the reason why he's the way he is. Do you understand oh, this message? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, he's very happy that you're connecting this way because he would like you to learn how to connect with him because you are open to this. You know, mm -hmm. even though you have a level of discernment, um, not quite as much as Claudia. She's not quite as skeptical, <laughs> but but I do feel and I love her dearly. <laughs> But do you understand? I do feel like you have a level of like, okay, I'm going to see if this is real or not. He wants you to learn how to really, like you've already do it. You already know when he's uncomfortable. You already know when he's walking funny. Tune into that more so you can really hear what that's about. Do you understand this message? Yes. Oh, and he's, it, honey, all of a sudden I'm itchy. Does he get itchy? Does he lick his paws? Yes. Uh huh. Thank he does. you. Thank you. Because so he's using my body again. That's definitely I feel like connected. I'm not a vet, okay? But when I when I see that licking of paws or I start physically itching, and when I physically itch, I feel like his allergy levels are higher than maybe someone else might have. Do you understand? Because it's affecting me personally. He's making me. He's bringing. See, and he's looking at you right now, and 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 he's. <laughs> I see him sleeping on the, the right side of you. Do you let him sleep on the bed on the right side? Because that's how he shows it to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys were married together, so to speak, because you're also just as sensitive as he is. I think you can sense when something's about to happen and you're not mm. sure where it's coming from. Am I correct about that? Yes. So have you noticed him, Frankie, doing the same thing? Have you noticed all of a sudden, like he just out of nowhere might start barking and there's nothing around or he's acting differently? Have you noticed this? 
Yeah. Because he's bringing this up. And I feel like this is how you guys, this is why you found each other, to understand this was not a mistake. And I feel like you guys are to teach each other kind of manage your sensitivities, right? Um, I think you're doing a much better job than you were. And I feel like he helps you with that. He helps you ground. Even to like turn on some music and dance with him or something. You know what I'm saying? Shake up the energy for both of you. Because I feel like you both are, are feeling the weight of the world. I don't know where he came from. Did he come from a family that maybe couldn't afford it? Um, or did he come from people who didn't care? Or I just always want to know, like, what his life may have been like before. And I'm wondering... I almost where... see, like, the Lancaster area or Palmdale area for some reason. Like, that deserty area. I don't know why I'm being drawn to that or something that's similar like that that area. Just keep seeing a woman in particular around him. And, and I don't think she's very... I don't have this... Um, I don't have a good feeling about her. I feel there's a lot of negativity with her. Like, I'm just oblivious because it's all about me. Does he know that he's, like, my main, like, my main squeeze? Like, does he know that he's, oh, like, no. Oh, honey, that's why I'm like, you guys are like, ha, huh, no. <laughs> are you kidding? And Claudia and her cat are soulmates in a way, too. But you guys complement each other in so many ways. You know, huh? You know when I talk to you. I talk to him like, like, yes, we talk. I can know you understand me. <laughs> he loves it. He's so grateful that he's got love. You, you're doing such yes. a good thing. I'm so Thank glad you me. rescued him. You're healing each other. And that's, well, you know, you so you're so welcome. I hope this was helpful. Was this yes. helpful? Yes, it was. Thank you. I really appreciate you. So my reading went really good. It was interesting to hear things be kind of like reaffirmed when it came to me and Frankie. When it came to her talking about how much she really loved me and how much she really appreciates me, um, that's where it got like really kind of emotional for me. Just to think that that could be a real thing that he really does, it makes me feel really good. She knew that he had itchy paws and we actually deal with like really itchy paws all the time. That might be a common thing, I'm not sure, but specifically with Frank, like he's almost known for like his itchy paws. I'm not sure if I necessarily believe 100, but I do think that what she does is um, healing and it's great. So it's been a little bit since our reading with Kate and I was impressed with a lot of the things she picked up on, like the dresser he sits on, the shape of his food, that he follows me around like a dog, like our whole relationship. That was enough to tell me that I felt like Kate was really picking up on a lot of things. He's been through a lot with me and it's interesting to think that he might pick up on that or, you know, he picks up on my mood certainly and he's seen many years with me. So it'd be really interesting if he's like, get it together, you girl. You can be great. I'd uh, recommend a pet reading. This is just really fun to connect with our little furry babes in that kind of way. Follow like.